What's going on guys? Cloud 7k here and today I'm bringing you a lane guide top lane guide for Udir Tiger Stance so uh, I face off against a Jax here so uh, I didn't get that range like I promised a lot of you um, I will get it it's just a matter of I like recording mostly in ranks and it's when no one picks a Teemo or anything or picks a Jace it's kind of hard to record that matchup so uh, this is against the Jax uh, I'll show you how to be uh, extremely aggressive and how to uh, secure early tower how to secure uh, a full-on push early and then just help your team out this one I could have probably split pushed it the whole time I decide to uh, assist the team after I get uh, my towers down so for this build I am 21 9 and 0 and also I'm running 80 quints and marks flat MR and uh, flat armor so let's get this started shall we okay so our team sets up for a red steel and their team set up for a red steel I already seen them being extremely aggressive with me so I told them you might as well go red I know they're all here at blue side uh, so I go up and I see that he took it so I I should have ran up I had no idea that Warwick was gonna run around that way so I just take the little minions for a little bit of uh, experience uh, boost I guess I wanted a little bit of an experience lead so here I'm gonna be super aggressive against Jax because I want to zone him out uh, I don't actually attack him but I have crystalline flask so I, I have mana coming back I have uh, three pots on top of that so I'm basically just gonna have that early advantage just for a little while though because when my flask runs out I'm done and Udir is so mana heavy and I I think on this one I actually decided to go tier so uh, he's pushed to his turret um, and I'm gonna keep him on his turret I'm not worried about Warwick I just wanna rush my level so now I got my four so when he's actually aggressive with me uh, I can do something to him now because I got two points in Tiger. I've got uh, one point in Turtle, and I have one point in Bear. If I would have got five, then I would have had a point, another point in uh, either Tiger or Turtle. I think I was going to put it in Tiger. I wanted to just blow him up, but I didn't hit that five, so I'm waiting for him to push up to me. Once I see him burn his jump, that's what I'm going to go in. He's going to do his little dodge deal. Jumps on me. So I go back into Tiger. I pop my Ignite on him. He pops his on me. Uh, as you can see, even though I, I popped a potion, but with my turtle, I'm already back above him. Uh, I got my glass ticking. Now, right there, uh, I popped my ghost. And as soon as he saw I popped my ghost, he popped his. And he was faster than me. And... and with my oh yeah I have movement speed runes on him too but only 4.5 so he was a little bit faster than me and he uh, is gonna be really faster than me now he bought phage how many of you have ever read what phage does now basic attacks grant 20 movement speed for two seconds on hit kills grant 60 movement speed for two seconds that is broken as hell you can move like crazy so now he has that move speed advantage over me because I'm not I'm not my utility you dear I'm not gonna be as fast as you can see I only have 361 move speed with my bear let's see what I have I think I pop in the bear sooner or later no I'm gonna go back real quick I go back to uh, get boots and adorns blade I believe yeah, I get my ninja tabbies. I just want a little bit of damage. Um, I want that early kill. And Doran's Blade is good starting out on Udyr. 
Especially since I'm not making any headway with him right with uh, Jax right now. And I didn't really have money for any big items, so I figured I might as well get that little advantage. A uh, little bit of damage on him. Uh, you don't need a lot with Udyr damage wise. Just because of the fact that the dot and uh, it used to be magic damage. It's counted as AD, but it just burns them over time. And pair that up with your Ignite or uh, someone else attacking. So I waited for him. As you can see, he did his dodge, but I threw my Ignite on there. You could see how much damage I put on him. Just that little end gauge. So uh, I see Zax up here. So I run back to the bush. I'm waiting for Jax to push out again. Just so we can have a little uh, engage on him. He runs down towards his bush. That's when we see Warwick. I see double buffs. I go for the double buffs. You want the double buffs. So I burn Warwick real quick. He just gave up double buffs. Uh, really put Jax in a bad position. And uh, I think Zach was hoping that I would... Uh, I would let him push out so we could gank him again. Because Zach is really watching for him. So, um. Warwick comes up. Tries to do a little gank on me. So I run up to the tower. Then I run back in. I want Jax. But Fizz comes up. Helps me out. Um, this team roamed a lot and helped me out top. But I, I wanted the pressure top. I, I wanted Fizz in mid. And just kicking ass in mid because I, I don't really need that much help top. Even though this build is, is uh, Tiger is not uh, my best build or my best uh, way to play Udyr. I like the fast clear. Uh, we see Katarina comes up and uh, dive her. So I go ahead and go back. But yeah, I like Phoenix a lot better because you have uh, clears on minions. You have you have range. I mean every time that fireball goes off when you're hitting minions if it's another uh, melee champion they're just gonna take damage so they're gonna back off. You can zone them out a lot easier than with Tiger. Tiger pushes too hard um, and I feel like I could have proxied this game but I wanted to play it safe because again I'm not used to playing deer uh, Tiger all the time. I don't even like doing it in jungle. I like my Phoenix uh, stands better, and I, I'm sure uh, as I play him more, I'll I'll, uh, I'll move into doing Tiger more often because I think Tiger is, is really, really uh, substantial in this game, really strong. So I put a ward up. Now right here I mess up. Uh, Jax already had the early advantage on me, so um, I could have at least stunned him and tried to run. But with that phage, he probably would have stayed on me. So I die right there. But I got the tower. So it wasn't that big of a loss. And then, of course, Fizz overextends way too far. Um, but he was a good Fizz. This team was, uh, overall, was a good team. So now it's, we have 7 kills. Um, I have 84 CS so on Jack 69. So I'm not way ahead. But I'm ahead enough. So I see, uh, I see Jax. I try to put a hit on him. And once I notice nothing's going on mid, I decide to protect my tower a little bit more. So we have two towers. They have no towers. We're in a good spot. I'm going to put a lot of pressure on top right now. And this team ignores it. Not my team, but, uh... The blue team ignores it. I, I go ahead and I push this all the way out. Look how long it takes for someone to notice. I don't even think they ping. Let's watch the minimap. Yeah, I think they're so focused on that team fight that they're not worried about me right now. So, while they're, uh, while they're having a standoff over there, I'm just having fun up top. Now, Janna notices that I'm here. Once I see her, I go ahead and back off, especially since I had no mana. So, I go ahead and I go back. But the damage is done. Now we have three towers. My lane is pushed out to the max. 
I'm not worried about it anymore. So I'm going to switch over. I'm going to assist the team. So um, if you look at my items, I picked up a Spirit of the Ancient Golem. Uh, oops, I accidentally took that off me. What a scrub. Anyways, it's 500 health, 10% cooldown reduction, 14 health regen. Ah, oh, god damn it. This fucking camera! <laughs> uh, 14 health regen, regen per 5, 7 uh, MP5, and the tenacity. I'm not worried about the, the butcher, because I'm not really going to jungle, but since I want to take red buff for myself, because that will help me out a little bit. Uh, the tenacity is what I wanted. So I could pick up armor instead of mercury treads. Um, I wanted armor against Jax. I mean, it, it, he's going to run AP also, but hes you can see his build. He's Trinity Force. Uh, I don't think he actually built another big item. Anyways, uh, I wanted to get out of Jax stun. So another end gauge right here. Uh, we take out Warwick. We see Katarina and uh, and Vayne and all them. So we back off. Uh, I'm waiting for some mana to come back, and I want to I want to try to get these guys. So when they backed off, they messed up because they left behind Vayne. So we got a kill there. Uh, right now I'm three and one. 127 CS, so I'm, I'm looking pretty decent. Um, but it, it's not where I want to be in this type of game, you know. If I'm going to play top, I mean, I already put the pressure up there. I already pushed the towers. I mean, this is this is powerhouse Udir here. I should have more kills. I should have had uh, no deaths against Jax, but um, it happened. So I take blue real quick. Um, <laughs> little laugh war right there. Um, and I go mid. Now right here I die because there was too many. I thought I could take them and <laughs> with that Janna ult oh, I messed up. So uh, now I'm 3 and 2. Uh, I was yelling at myself. It was late at night too so I was, I was pretty mad. Uh, not at not at my team, but at myself. I was just like, God damn it! Why the hell did I go in there and like a fucking scrub? That was such a bronze move. So, um, but I get my composure back. I wait for home guards, I believe, right here. Yeah, I sold one of my Doran's blades. I picked up a pickaxe. I was gonna go into Zephyrs since I got uh, got a decent amount of health. So I wanted to go Zephyrs and and Sunfire Cape and try that out. Uh. Oh, I was going to complete my mirror mana. I picked up a tier so I could have outrageous uh, team fights. I could I can stay through the whole team fight and keep pushing afterwards. I won't be out of mana. So I come down to help them out. Uh, I catch Janna, tiger her, and then I switch straight over into bear and run over to Katarina and I hit her twice with, in bear form. And she was gone. So now... Baron's wide open. He's got a nice little ace on him. We take out Baron real quick. Let's see, it's 26 minutes in, so it's not an early Baron. Uh, so we get Baron. And Fizz and I are waiting for someone to slip up. And that someone is Vayne. So I run in and tiger her. Fizz and my damage together just tears him up. Uh, take out Katarina. Or Fizz takes out Katarina. Uh, I decided to run out, come back in, come back in, run out, you know, just play over and over and over. So I ended up getting Warwick, and uh, Zach ends up getting Janna. So we got a pretty good setup right now. We see Bane. Uh, we probably could have dove her right there, but uh, we didn't want to lose our buff. Especially since I believe Fizz lost his, and... Yeah, Fizz lost it. So, let's speed this up. I don't want to screw up. So anyways, I go top lane. This is where I fuck up. Remember that cockiness I told you about? This is where it fucks up. 
you lose sight, uh, you get tunnel vision, you lose sight of the map because you think you can take everybody. So I come down for Vane and she disappears. So I'm like, oh, hey, here's Jax. Well, then I see Vane. I'm like, oh, shit, I fucked up. I probably could have turned around and, and killed Vane and at least had a kill. But, and I mean, I missed the bush. This bush, I could have ran in the bush and ran up that way. But instead, I went this way. So he dies me on the turret. And I'm gone. So. And then anyways, that... I think I, I won my lane pretty good against Jax. Uh, team fights, we, we won several of them. Uh, we had the Baron, we had uh, towers, so they end up surrendering. So anyways guys, that's my Ooh Deer Tiger Top. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, hit that like button and subscribe. And follow me on my Facebook page at facebook.com backslash cloud7k. Alright guys, later.